Hello everyone, and welcome to Power Apps Portals Tips. My name is Nicholas Hayduk, and this is tip number 113, Portal Theming Files. When you install a Power Apps Portal into your Dataverse environment, you'll get two CSS files, bootstrap.min.css and theme.css. Bootstrap.min.css is a Bootstrap version 3.3.6 file. As much as everyone wishes it was a newer version of Bootstrap, including, or maybe especially, the Microsoft Portals product team, Bootstrap version 3 is what is supported on PowerApps Portals, and will be for the foreseeable future. This file contains all of the Bootstrap classes, but only a very basic theming definition. Theme.css contains Microsoft's default Bootstrap theme for PowerApps Portals. This includes details like the colors and fonts. It also includes a number of non-bootstrap style definitions for portal specific features like polls, forms, and the Power Virtual Agent integration. Be aware that if you want to apply your own bootstrap theme, you need to take into consideration these custom styles as well. If you create your own custom basic theme, there will also be a .scss file, which contains the SAS variables for your custom theme. This is used to generate your custom portal basic theme.css file, which Microsoft does automatically for you. If you use the basic theming capabilities included in the Portal Studio, you'll see a third file called portal basic theme.css. This will be a CSS file that contains the specific colors for your theme. Thanks for watching, and I hope you found the PowerApps Portals tip number 113 on portal theming files, useful.